How's everybody doing? All right, all right. So uh, a little bit about myself. I was adopted when I was a baby. My parents are white, so I enunciate. <laughs> I uh, uh, having white parents. Uh, I, I do things like say the word darn a lot. Uh, I give my kids chances. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of weird though. Uh, I actually had to get my uh, license renewed, and because uh, of uh, uh, my adoption, I had to get a new birth certificate, and it found out that it could be wrong. Uh, because again, my parents are white, uh, I technically never had a birthday. Um, I'm 42 years old, and I'm at that awkward age right now where a 22 year old woman looks kind of hot, but so does her mom. I, uh, um, I don't know, man, what the fuck happened to uh, rap and hip hop today? I'm from the 90s, I'm from that generation where the, uh, the the lyrics were tight and the jeans were loose. Sadly, it's the other way around now. And, uh, you know, being a 90s kid, uh, a 90s kid, uh, we didn't have the type of toys and games that these kids have nowadays. Uh, when I was growing up, we didn't have anything like Pokemon Go. If I wanted to battle things and see things that weren't there, I did shrooms like everybody else. And, uh, you know, what if, uh, I, I believe personally, uh, what if God created the LGBTQ community so the rest of us know who the real Christians are? <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, what if uh, religion got it all wrong anyway? What if the Christians, the Muslims, the Buddhists, the Hindus, Pastafarians, even the Scientologists, what if they all got it wrong? What if the hokey pokey is what it's all about? I mean, when it comes to religion, most people have one foot in and one foot out anyway. Um, I've been married to my wife for our 21 years. And uh, after 21 years of marriage, you have to have a little fun in the bedroom, be willing to spice it up, try things differently. But the one thing that I hate that my wife does when we're having sex is wake up. And uh, after having two kids, uh, I had a vasectomy, and the most common question that I get asked after having a vasectomy is, what's your sex life? Sex life like after? And sex after a vasectomy is a lot like turning red on red. You can pull out if you want to, but you don't have to. <laughs> um, I, I think it's kind of cool how uh, the, the Disney and Pixar movies have crossed over into pop culture. Um, you know, everybody knows Infinity, uh, to Infinity and Beyond, that's Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story, Akuna Matata, that's uh, The Lion King. But does anybody know what Cinderella said when she got to the ball? <laughs> um, here's a little advice for all you uh, single folks out there. Uh, this applies to anybody, guy, girl, gay, straight. Next time you're on your first date, Go to a place where you can order your own individual plate or basket of fries. If that person eats their french fries with a fork, they're probably not going to do that thing you like. Um, you know, a lot of people, and, and, I, and I think this is a misleading statement, but people are like, uh, home is where the heart is. And what if you don't really like where you live? I think maybe a more accurate statement is, Home is where the safe toilet Um, all right. Uh, so, you know, I feel like NASA is taking a lot of credit right now for one blurry image of a black hole. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've seen hundreds of black holes in HGM porn of, and you don't see them patting themselves on the back and taking victory laps. <laughs> and uh, before I go, I would just like to clear up maybe a, uh, a misconception a generalization or even a stereotype that I think some people might have about the black community and our relationship with Jehovah's Witnesses. It's not that we don't like Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't like any witnesses. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Listen to Brad's chair, everybody.